Let's travel back in time to 14th century England. Our ticket for our journey: pottage and boiled bacon. When we think of medieval England, we summon into mind castles defended by honorable knights, ladies bedecked in jewels, ermine, cloths of gold, silk and silver, and the nobles who dined on exotic delicacies like roasted peacocks and sparrows. They savor meat pies, baked beef soaked in red almond milk, spiced pears, and cheeses. In between courses, they watch the blackbirds bursting free from pies, and through it all, wash down their meals with rich red wine. History tends to honor the lives of the rich, and peasants are often unremarkable except when noting their tragic lives filled with disease, death, and poverty. Today, we'll give ourselves a chance to experience a good day in the life of a villain. Across the rolling countryside, the air is crisp and sweet. The world blanketed in a tranquil song of branches rustling in soft breezes. There are fresh vegetables from our garden, and because we have a guest, a fellow time traveler, we will treat ourselves to boiled bacon, which we typically reserve for Christmases. With plenty of meat stock, we'll prepare pottage tonight. With mouths watering at this unanticipated treat, we'll dive right into preparations. Here are all the ingredients you will need for the pottage. For this recipe, I use 32 ounces or four cups of beef stock, one leek, parsley, half a yellow onion, two parsnips, half a cabbage, canned green peas, two third cups of steel cut oats. Salt to taste: one teaspoon of dry sage, half a teaspoon of coriander. Wash, cut your vegetables however you like, and prepare for cooking. Here, I will demonstrate the correct way to cut and to wash a leek. The white portion of the leek is more tender and milder in taste, and that is the portion we will use for our recipe. Combine all your ingredients except for the steel-cut oats into one large pot. Close the lid and bring to a boil over medium-high heat. Place the bacon in a separate pan on medium-high heat. Here, I am using smoked British bacon, which is a more similar cut to Canadian bacon. Fill the pan with water until the bacon is just submerged. When the water has boiled off, the bacon is done. When the pottage reaches boiling point, stir in the steel-cut oats. Turn down the heat to low, cover, and allow to simmer for 15 to 20 minutes, or whenever the oats are done. Lastly, adjust the salt to taste. And our meal of pottage and boiled bacon is all complete. Let's bring down the last walls of time by sprinkling in my secret ingredient: a little imagination. Next week, we will dive into the 19th-century American frontier. In the comments below, let me know what food inspires you to travel through time and across oceans. I hope you enjoyed this journey, and thank you for watching.